GMC wool wax. Great combination. It's been a week or so, 10 days, since I last was wool waxing. Yep, yeah, the X. Mrs. CW's Yuckin XL. So I thought I'd do some last touch ups and show you what's going on. What I did do, because you got to do a thorough job, you're going to do something, you do it right. I took out the little clips that hold the cowl cover in place. These used to be screwed in place the last 10, 20 years. They've been using these little clippies, and I didn't lose any, amazingly. You pop the top off, then the whole thing comes apart. I did not lose any. I used this pair of pliers after I wedged them off with a small screwdriver. First you lift the cap up and you can take the whole apparatus out with a special pair of pliers that I bought on eBay, Amazon, made in Taiwan, what else is new. So I lifted up this plastic cover. I could have taken off the windshield wipers, but that's an extra job and I'm lazy so. And I took the hose and I sprayed underneath into the windshield wiper linkage. And I sprayed away using the supplied Kelsport Products hose. It's probably 20 inches long. I don't think it's two feet. This one sprays out the end, straight out the end. And he's got one that looks like it's 16, 18 inches. It sprays forward and it sprays out the sides, a light misting. Now, when I used to use fluid film, there was an extra long hose but the gentleman, Bob, from Kelsport Products says that the wool wax, being thicker, won't spray through this longer hose. So there's the difference in the length. The uh, old fluid film hose is almost a foot longer. And I'm using wool wax. And I sprayed into the radiator, the hose clamps, the transmission cooler lines, and under the air cleaner, and the, took out the air cleaner box bolts, screws, and I sprayed some goopy on that because if it's going to rust and it's metal, you want to cover it with wool wax because wool wax is a preventative coating that stops the salt calcium. See, I even sprayed, I removed the bumper cover bolts. This is all one piece. So I couldn't take off the bumper cover. I could, but it's way too much work. So I even sprayed behind the bolts into the threads, the hood latch mechanism. Now this Yuckin actually has a flipper door apparatus so the radiator doesn't get any air. Just like the big rigs. I took out these bolts and I sprayed them. And I'm gonna put the cover back on here. I have sprayed everywhere, inside the radiator support and Underneath it, when I was in South Carolina, I sprayed the engine and the pulleys and the alternator and the idler and the air conditioning pipes and heater hose connections and the battery terminals and hood hinge. So if you want your vehicle to last, you've got to spray it with wool wax from Kel Sport Products. They sell the clear product that has a bit of a yellowish tint. And if you're a hot rodder and you're fussy, he also will sell you a black tinted product. But we didn't get that. We just were supplied. With this yellowish product, I'm gonna spray a dipstick tube for Transmission, everything gets it, everything. Because you don't want your vehicle to rust. There's only one way to stop it, and that's wool wax. Comes in spray cans, and oh, it's so annoying that air hose leaking. Stop. There's also a little spray top that goes right on the aerosol can and you can stick it in the doors and nooks and crannies and wedges. And I did spray it. Kel Sport Products. Look them up online. I did spray it. 
into the bottom of the doors, into the weep holes. Sometimes you might want to have to enlarge those just a touch, but be careful. The inside is the invisible part of the door that nobody will see except you and me, but the outside, you don't want to dent that. Now you could also spray under here, but then you risk getting the wool wax onto the carpets. I'm going to spray inside this cowl hinge support area. I'm not going to spray it into the interior. No, no, no. You could spray the door latch with a little bit with the spray can and the striker. Just a little bit over here. You don't want to get this stuff on your clothes because even though it's not a petroleum product, it still could stain. And you don't want to do that. I may be wearing a torn coat. Yeah, I just hate to buy a new one. So what did I just see here? A spot. And you could walk around the vehicle. You could spray it for hours and hours like I'm doing. If you want to do a thorough job, spray the leading edge of the hood. Oh, look at that. The seam sealer unstucked. You could just spray this stuff everywhere because if it's metal, it's going to rust. And even if it's painted, and even if they claim, oh, we galvanized triple dip our cars. Think back to the 50s when they used to boast about how cars wouldn't rust because they were triple dipple undercoated. Yeah, well, here we are in the uh, 21st century and vehicles are still rusting after 10 years. So I'm spraying everything, the computer, I sprayed inside the brake rotors, the valve covers, the water pump, the ground strap. Spray, spray, spray away. You can even take the little can and spray the pivots for the windshield wiper arms. And if you see a spot that I missed, let me know because I don't want this thing to rust because my reputation is on the line and as far as I know wool wax being a lanolin product no petroleum should not affect any rubber and I've been spraying it for over 10 years on my SF sub and on the turbo weasel and I haven't seen any swelling rubber or issues with wiring so Fender, reinforcement, spray baby spray. So that's my endorsement of Wool Wax from Kelsport Products. They make everything you need to undercoat your vehicle and protect it from corrosion because it's winter and it's January 11th and it's pouring rain all day long and that doesn't make any sense but it'll get cold and we'll get freezing rain and won't that be nice from the frozen north GMC and wool wax from Kel Sport Products I'm gonna put this thing back together and ship her with the studded snow tires I even sprayed the wheels I sprayed the brake backing plates this has got oversized studded 275 70 R18s I'll distract a bit from the wool wax I even sprayed the wheels because everything rusts around here you may live a bit further south and not get the salt that we get on the roads here but boy living up here in the north I put oversized tires on what do we got here a couple inches bigger inch and three quarters Originally it had two, what are these Michelins? 265, 65, 18s, 265, 65. I went 275, 70, one size taller and a bit narrower. Now this aspect ratio is a crock of shoot as far as I'm concerned. Why can't they just rate the tires by the width? Not a percentage aspect ratio. These are load range E, Goodyear Winter Command with the three peaks. And they are studded because we don't want to get stinking stuck 
with our Yukon. It's a shame to have to use it in the winter, but that's what it's intended for. So I put the bigger aftermarket wheels and tires on, and we're a little close, but I think we're good to go. The fenders don't turn back in like they did on the 95 generation, the GMT 400s. So yeah, we've got oversized tires, we've got the cheapest wheels, that tire rack had with a rinky-dink plastic hubcap. Nothing special there, it could use a nice machine badge. If anybody runs a CNC machine or if their mother does coat repairs, this thing is tattered. So there you go, wool wax. We were watching D&D &D Speed Shop turn a four-door Bel Air sedan into a two-door. And there's good stuff on YouTube, but the best stuff is wool wax undercoating from Kel Sport Products. Give them a shout and tell them Corvair Wild sent you. I gotta work on that thing next. Getting ready to sell. Tax time. Off it goes. Down the road and maybe over the pond. Kel Sport Products. Gotta love them.